The Filmmakers Lounge at the Intercontinental Dubai held a workshop on sound and color grading titled Making the Real Unreal as part of the Gulf Film Festival. The workshop was delivered by Norman Schwartz from the sound design team of Academy Award winning movies E.T. and The Exorcist along with Dan Maitre, video department head of Mile Studios and John Kochanjik of the New York Film Academy. We want to welcome you here on behalf of the New York Film Academy and I'm very grateful to be here at the Gulf Festival and to be here with my colleagues John and Dan. We're going to address one of the very specific problems of making films and we're going to demonstrate today by the use of music, sound effects, atmosphere and color design how you, the filmmaker, can create a real world and take it and make it into a surreal or super real world. Today, we're in Dubai, we're in Abu Dhabi, and you can take your digital cameras and go out anywhere and make a film without generators, without enormous lights, without costumes, without makeup. And that's the problem. How do you turn everyday reality into the magic of cinema? What we've decided to do is to show you a film that was made by a very gifted student at the, Ameri at the New York Film Academy. Its title is The Picnic. Dad, did we get the fresh sandwiches this time? Yes, Charlie. That and those cracker things, you like? Yes. So now the sound designer, you the director, have added two sounds. The wind in trees with distant birds and the sound of water. The wonderful thing about sound design is that you have control of all the elements. The audience doesn't realize if they listen to the final track that John has prepared that it is not the original recording. It sounds realistic, but it isn't. It's the creation of the filmmaker. It's the creation of your imagination. Perhaps you don't want any birds. Perhaps you don't want any water. Perhaps you don't want any footsteps. Perhaps all you want is music. And that's your choice as well. These are all separate library sound effects. Either you can record them yourself or you can get them out of a standard internet sound effects library. This is the original color of the the original exposure of the shot. Here's what happens if you correct it. It gets darkened, it's much bluer. What the next process is called desaturation, in which we remove some of the color by desaturating it. Well, anybody who cares about the final product, uh, in the cinematographer's case, a, a final image, they will be very careful with the with the color grading they'll have to go in the color grading uh, suit but uh, and the amount of tools we have today with the new system still it doesn't uh, mean that we have to be careless with the way we shoot with the way we expose an image we still have to be to do it properly but the the advantage is that we have all these tools that we can use to to uh, reach the look we want and uh, it doesn't mean that the uh, cinematography will be dependent on this. It's just uh, we have more options, you know. And if we know how to use them, you know, it's the it, it's the benefit of uh, yeah. our picture in the end. Actually, is that sound is half the movie. It's what really completes the experience for the audience members. I mean, we only have visuals on the screen. We're not we can't really interact with that too well. The sound really brings us into the environment and enables that to happen. So. A lot of it is basically a lack of knowing what can be done and a lack of giving the time for that to be done too. <laughs> um, especially seen with like uh, student films for example or short films in the Gulf and, or Middle East especially in that sound is essentially it's not given enough time and it's not in a lot of cases even considered. So in that sense the storylines are great, acting's great, cinematography is getting there, visual effects, etc. But the sound is hurts or lets it down a little bit because it's it hasn't been considered and just submitted as is. It's both, as almost all things in making film, you have to be a technician and an artist. 
if you're too much of an artist and don't understand the techniques or the machinery, you're not any good. And if you're only interested in the machinery and don't understand the art, it still doesn't work. Filmmaker is a combination of a technician and an artist. Music is there to either underlie, to, uh, underlie an emotion or to create an emotion that is not there in the imagery. For example, in this particular film we looked at today, if you take a, a very pleasant sunny scene where a family gets out of a van and you add ominous music, you suddenly create a mood. Uh, music is there to tell you something that the imagery doesn't tell you. With camera person Rachel Lewis, this is Presley Vegas reporting from the Gulf Film Festival for Manipal Dubai TV.